but I did it anyway. What are you? <laughs> I'm a little blueberry. Couple of little house updates for you. I love it. Like period blood, I guess. This is what's waiting for him. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Wow, this is a look. I'll be honest, at the minute, my life isn't that interesting. I'm not really going anywhere or doing that much. Also, I'm not this pale in real life. The light is just... This is my Valentine's shoot. This is just an idea I had. And I will see you in about three seconds for the best transformation. Ready? Bam! <laughs> so... The hair is so cute. I've just pinned it with a little, like, claspy clasp, that's what they're called. It's very smooth and silky at the minute. I've started using a shampoo and a conditioner and it's so stupidly expensive. I mean, it's not in the grand scheme of shampoos. I know there's more expensive, but for what I normally spend on hair stuff, it's very expensive. It's the Moroccan oil stuff. And I wish it didn't work so well, but it just makes my hair so smooth and silky. And then this dress. <laughs> look at this so i ordered one of those um selkie that's what the brat selkie i think is the brand um but i ordered it from netta porter i think it's a week late in arriving and they're really unhelpful apparently which is annoying so i did what you're not supposed to do and no one do this but this is a really rubbish ripoff from amazon this was like 20 quid we don't approve of buying clothes that are just complete rip-offs from designers but I did it anyway because I really wanted it for the shoot and it's it's nowhere near as nice as the real one would be but for a photo I think it does what I want it to do and basically my whole idea of this photo is just a valentine's shoe and let me show you let me show you the prop why are you laughing what are you I'm a cupcake I'm gonna leave and pretend I didn't see this. Why don't you like it? So that was the world's quickest shoot. We did that in five minutes. We drove, it's like a 20 minute drive to that beautiful spot, which I didn't even show you. So let me insert the pictures here. I didn't realise that B had to get back for a work call and we literally had 40 minutes to get there back with the photos and it takes about 15 minutes to get across that side of town. So I'm not joking, we shot those in like five minutes and aren't they so cute? And it was a nice quiet time of day so I need one comment from one builder but he was very lovely. <laughs> you in the last vlog this is the best well this is my new favorite outfit for hit workouts and i thought this bra wouldn't be supportive enough but i was jumping all over the place and it was absolutely fine i'm a little blueberry oh i just did a little um tabata it's called like timer so you put the tabata timer on i play my own music and it's basically a hit workout but it gives you nice structure it's just 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 
for four minutes and you can do as many rounds as you want with like obviously whatever exercises you want but I find it easy because it means you don't have to think about anything you don't have to count anything you don't have to count your reps it's just when you hit the bing you know to stop and I find that way easier than anything else my lovely valentine's balloons are going really strong I need to think of something else to do with them I was gonna give them away and just be the random kind stranger and just sort of you know give them away to people as I see them but I've tangled them up so badly from obviously shooting with them and it being very windy I actually don't know if I could untangle them hmm I might try but before I do I need to think of at least one more photo opportunity with them because they're so cool and I cannot believe how long they've lasted they're from um it's called bubblegum balloons and it's the place where B got my birthday balloons if you saw my birthday koala oh where am I Here I am um my birthday koala balloons and they arrived really quickly just walked past this and remember I have a couple of little house updates for you my angel boy he got framed finally and he's up here in the hallway and he looks even more beautiful in his frame oh, look at him and then the other thing that I got framed was this, which is something I've been meaning to get framed. I'm not joking, I think I've had this for about two years. And it's my gorgeous naked hip dip lady, a lovely angel called Emily. She does these, she is an artist. She did loads of like beautiful curvy women, um, but she didn't have any with hip dips. So I basically commissioned this specially and I think she's absolutely beautiful. I really, really love her. She's actually a navy blue, but it's hard to see because she's um, on the floor, which isn't nice, but I need to make sure I get her a nice home. I was thinking, God, the room is very messy, but I was thinking here, like there, there, and then this mirror will go here, but I completely forgot I ordered this. Now I swore off any new flat pack furniture a long time ago, but there seems to be more. <laughs> I use these bins, these storage bins, and please don't judge my messy room, you are about to judge it, but like, these, look, don't, it's just, I, this is actually stuff I need to organise to depop. I put all the things that I need to depop in one, all the things that are currently on sale on depop in another, and I just, sorry, I'm <laughs> avoiding showing you my desk because it's actually quite embarrassing, but I find them so easy, I throw in things I need to shoot, things I have shot, things I need to organise into these bins, and I just find them like a really easy way of storing stuff, but I don't actually have any places to put them, hence they're squished into the bottom of my wardrobes. This is just a tall unit well i'll make it and you see it's a tall unit and it has spaces for four of those sort of basket bucket bin things um, and i've also bought a shelf so one of the boxes will have a shelf in so i can put things like my deodorant and my perfume and the things i use every day in um, and these are the baskets that i got to go in them they're just simple but quite nice this flat is just the best place to live in the whole world i can't tell you how much we love living here um but there is no storage which is why <laughs> this hoover just seems to live here technically i'm supposed to take it upstairs and put it in the eaves and it does fit but then i'm taking it out every third or fourth day to hoover again so it tends to just live here um but yeah best flat ever just not a load of storage we don't even have like a big kitchen cupboard there's no hallway cupboards like i don't know about you but i feel like all houses should legally come with a hallway cupboard <laughs> well this would have once been a house and we're technically just living upstairs in this house so that's why i'm gonna have a quick bath get ready for the day i'll see you in a bit i don't mean to be bombarding you with gym shark halls at the moment this isn't a hall don't worry but this just arrived and I feel so cute. I don't know why that's the only word in my vocabulary. Vocabulary. That's a difficult word. Which is ironic. But I just <laughs> wanted to show you this because... How cute is this? Is it like 60s vibe? Is that what it's giving? 80s? I, I don't know. But this is... Oh god, I've got no idea what collection it's part of, but... How cool is this set? I actually love this. Maybe I'm just getting more and more biased, but I swear, they just come out with cuter and cuter stuff all the time. These leggings have some little like pocket, which isn't really a pocket, you, it doesn't shut, but 
I guess it's for maybe tissues or I mean I wouldn't risk putting my keys in there just in case but that's cool let me see if I can show you full length I love it like I said I'm not meaning to bombard you with everything Gymshark at the minute this just happens to be one of the cutest little outfits I've ever got from them so had to share with you it is currently Sunday which obviously means bacon Sunday and today we are making cookie dough bites but heart shaped and i'm gonna make them cute and decorate them really cute there's obviously no egg in the mixture it's literally the recipe is supposed to be eaten as cookie dough so there's no eggs you have to cook the flour but it's actually a cookie dough recipe so i'm gonna get out of this because this is too cute to ruin with bacon stuff enjoy this very romantic bacon sunday day it is actually valentine's day or love day i've just started calling it love day because valentine's you always think of like romantic partners don't you love day it's just a day of love it's cute we like it i always get my mum a valentine's card and a valentine's gift i got her oh look the sun's just gone away did you see that i always get her a gift and a card and this year i got her some chocolate from b chocolate in brighton which is the best chocolate shop in the whole world not just in brighton and yeah i always do like friend presents and not just romantic presents it is valentine's morning b actually isn't even here he's been away all weekend and he isn't here until this evening so so i'm just having like a chilled valentine's i saw my mum this morning to give her her gift but i am taking photos and later i think i'm gonna go and get myself some flowers because if ever there were a day to buy yourself flowers fucking hell it needs to be valentine's day because it's about loving other people but it's also about loving yourself obviously when is it not anyway let me show you a my cute new hairstyle which i'm thoroughly enjoying i've just got gel and like slicked it as far back as it can go into these sort of like i don't know little bunchy things and i know you've seen this already because you saw it in my last haul but obviously i'm taking a valentine valentine's day themed photo with my balloons and i'm wearing the savage fenty set again if my last video didn't sell you on either this set or just savage fenty in general come on it is beautiful i'm still so obsessed and i'm going to keep this forever and this will be like my official valentine's underwear because i love it so much after today that is the end of the valentine's content i'm going to take these photos probably take off some of the makeup and then go buy some nice flowers I wanted to show you something. I'm not gone yet. <laughs> well, I realised today, or yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday, that when I have my operation, I'm going to be on the heaviest day of my period, which is really fucking terrible timing. Like, oh, but is what it is. Oh, why am I down here? And I always, whenever I'm on my period, I wear my moddy body period pants i'm sure you've seen them a million times i don't need to get them out and show you but that's what i was thinking i'll go into the operation wearing i obviously wear my period pants i don't use tampons or pads anymore but i got these in the post a little pr package from from we flow we flow flow is they called flow i don't know but i thought i'd show you because these seem like really really cool products if you're not into the period pants and i know i am 
and I know I'll never not wear the period pants but this is like a cool well what seems like a really cool brand for people who have periods comfy periods yeah featuring organic period care how cool is the packaging so in there is um organic tampons and it just looks like a tub of ice cream and then a small tub of tampons without applicators i do not like the applicators so those are the ones that i would use and to be fair i do still wear tampons on the very rare occasion where if i'm going out or i'm wearing an outfit that the period pants just won't work with i will keep hold of tampons um bamboo day pads and like the packaging is just so nice what do we have here liners liners are so handy and helpful always good to have some ha liners handy and then this is what i thought was so cool <laughs> periods are red violets are blue uterus uterus is shed flowers got you <laughs> and the actual like icing on these is obviously like made to look like period blood i guess i just think those are so cool like i love that i think yeah i just think this seems like a really cool brand i don't know if they sell them in like boots or super drug or anything if you're after new period products i don't know i just i thought that was pretty cool i don't know i just want to show you that because it's quite cool i thought should we try one of the cookies let's eat uterus's shed I love a sugar cookie with big chunky icing. Mmm. Mmm. That is a really good cookie. The icing is thicker than the biscuit and that is that is how I like it. Mmm. I am gonna take these photos now. Let me just turn off. The Only Way is Essex, I've fallen into a proper hole of watching The Only Way is Essex from 10 years ago. It's very strange, wouldn't recommend. But look at the flowers that I bought. Aren't they so beautiful? I feel like they're fairy flowers. Like they've got lots of miniature, like, oh, I don't love those. And I am also building my Ikea new storage. And to be fair, that only took me like 10 minutes. B isn't back yet, he'll be back later this evening, but when he is, this is what's waiting for him. Me and the girls ate the whole batch other than these, so I've had to not stop myself from eating these today. We've got some Love Duck Colin the Caterpillars, which is so cute. I've been thinking about you, original of course, a card, and then some Love Whips. Basically, I just went to M&S, oh, and Bruce also has a love bubble waiting for him yeah basically i just went to MS and bought some stuff from their valentine's aisle i think it's really cute that way. Mm. <laughs> can i try one of these though yeah mm. Lemon. yeah this, 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 this has a mindset, wait no i need my card first i should have my card first Bow, chicka, wow, Do you know wow. how I made you that? You made it? I drew you this in a card. Yeah. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm hoping Ooh, we get that to there is a bad. good selection. Okay. Oh, let's judge the selection. <laughs> What's that one? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, Can we find out? Oof, yes. I want to say something... I, what is it? What was that? Mmm. Ganache? Mmm. Really? Yes. Oh, salty ganache. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. I just wanted to come on and officially take a bow. Take a bow. Do a little curtsy. Another one. Because the Valentine's content is officially finished. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will put some highlights here on the screen because if you don't big up your own work, I mean, you should. And yeah, thanks for enjoying the Valentine's content with me.
I'm pretty pleased with what I did this year. I know it probably sounds maybe a little bit weird, but as a, and I'm gonna sound like a dickhead, but as a content creator, for me, this time of year is really important and I really do try really hard to make the content good. As you can see, I built my shelvy unit yesterday. It's actually really helpful. That little shelf is such a shout because I can put the things I need, like that is like four things of wild deodorant, my perfumes, some sunglasses on the top. I haven't figured it out, but just stuff that I'm gonna reach for every day. So that's super handy. And yeah, always need more storage. It's actually very good because it fits in here really well. Um, I'm actually just getting ready for to film a, a, what am I filming? I'm making banana bread for a reel for lounge underwear because on Thursday it's National Banana Bread Day. Who would have thought? It's a thing. So I've got this gorgeous yellow intimate set. Isn't that amazing? Look at the pants. Honestly, how beautiful are they? That's my task for this morning is to make banana bread. Let's make banana bread. It is the morning of my pre-op, which isn't a big deal, but it is a big deal because this means this is my last vlog before, or last bit of the vlog before the actual surgery vlog, which means it's like a week away and I have to have blood tests and blood pressure and that kind of thing, which I'm just so bad at blood tests. So, so bad at blood tests. I just hate them. It's not painful, well it is a bit, but it's not the pain, it's the squeamishness and the blood that I do not do well with. Which doesn't bode well for this huge surgery that I'm having next week, but it's fine. It's all fine. Speaking of, so I'm just looking at my diary. My surgery is a week tomorrow. <laughs> let's go, let's get this done. Bee's taking me in case I don't feel well afterwards. <laughs> let's just go. I did it. It was fine. Ugh, gross. The nurse was so nice. They're always lovely. Like the pre assessment nurses, they just always seem to be so, so nice. But this one was just heaven. And um, it was fine. When I said I don't want to know how much I weigh, she was fine. And she was just super quick and like, yeah, it was all good. All good. Picked up some lunch on the way home because I was so brave. I deserve my favourite lunch, which at the moment is a bagel man. There is something about a bagel man that just just hits the spot every time. This means that the next time I speak to you will be for the actual operation vlog. And she's nervous. Safe to say she is nervous. <sighs> it, it won't be. It won't be that far away. It will be next week. And when I'm finished, if I can even sit there or lie there and do this, I'll be able to edit the vlog and I think that movement will be fine. So it should be up in not too long after it at all. But obviously I will be with you documenting the whole recovery for the millionth time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you very soon for a very scary one. Right, love you. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god!